Hey guys, I'm leaving tonight for a trip with my buddy up to Maryland. Um, we're going to Scott Gossman's knife shop tour. Um, and I'm taking a kit. I know a lot of you guys like uh, kit type videos, so I figured I'd let you guys see this before I pack it all up. Um, I like to lay everything out like this just so I can look at it and make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, the only thing that's missing right now is my clothes. Um, and I'm going to have a small backpack full of knives that I'm going to try to trade. But, uh, and this will be like the 15 or 16th time I've made this video. So, back here in the back we have a Sea to Summit um, titanium spoon, which I love that spoon. It's great for getting inside backpacking meals. Um, and we also have a um, Snow Peak titanium cook set, um, large cup, small cup, and a lid underneath. And then my Nalgene bottle. Over here, we have my fuel canister for my MSR pocket rocket and we have a uh, two, foot to, two foot by two foot bandana underneath those um, farther down you'll see a um, MSR um, micro cloth um, it's a towel pack towel um, you can uh, it's supposed to hold uh, four times its weight in water which is good so I'll use that if I get a chance to use it to take a shower. Sorry about that guys, my tripod's failing on me a little bit. I got some biodegradable soap. I got some food back here. I got some mountain house meals in the background. Um, back behind all this stuff. Uh, beef stroganoff, beef stew, that kind of thing. Um, also have an astronaut ice cream and a dark chocolate cheesecake, which I love the dark chocolate cheesecake. Um, also down here you see two five-hour energy drinks. I love those things when I need a boost. They really help me out. Um, you know, we're going to be driving quite a ways. Um, down here in the tool section, down below, um, we've got the uh, Baco Laplander saw. We've got a CKC Puko from Kylie here on YouTube. Uh, we've got, uh, over here is my Jat Woodlore clone. I have a GP4L radio. It's got um, shortwave, it's got AM, FM, it's got weather, it's got a flashlight, it's got a clock um, with an alarm, and I've got my headphones to it back there in the back. Um, moving on down, in the back there, that brown pouch is my first aid pouch, which I can handle pretty much any minor emergency. Um, I got plenty of batteries for everything. Um, my Petzl e light I love that flashlight. Um, right here is my Leatherman uh, Juice, I believe. Yeah, Juice KF4. Um, I've got a um, Maglite XL100, a um, Ultimate Survival Technologies uh, Strike Force for backup fire starter. I have my Flint and Steel kit, as you can see back there. Move this piece of cord out of the way. Um, flint and steel kit, petroleum jelly cotton balls, um, 550 cord daisy chained. I've got a poncho back there, um, and I got a five foot by eight foot sill tarp. Um, that those two are going to help with my shelter. Then over here, I have my U.S. modular, U.S. military modular bivy bag. It's got a Gore-Tex outer bivy, um, and then inside of that you get a choice of two bags. I've picked a colder bag. Um, I picked the one that's supposed to let me go down to roughly minus 10 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I'm a fairly warm sleeper so I could, I could easily get down to negative 10 um, in that bag. I also got a thermo rest inside that bag. Um, sleeping mat, self inflated and uh, three quarter length. Um, it's about one inch thick inflated. Then right here I have a, I love this little doodad. Um, when I go backpacking, if I can afford to wait, I like to be in comfort. Um, you notice everything here probably weighs maybe 15 pounds altogether, um, not including my backpack. Um, but uh, I can afford this weight because we're going to pretty much be driving right up to the campsite, um, according to what I'm understanding. Um, but this thing, you know, sitting inside a sleeping bag at night, that's being my old only shelter. I take this pillow, I fluff it up, and 
I've got a full size pillow right there. Um, and, you know, full size pillow. Pretty much full size. And then that whole thing rolls up and tucks away in its own little included stuff sack. Um, and that'll help keep me a little more comfortable. I think it's important, especially when you're camping out, to have a really good night's sleep. Um, because otherwise you're going to be miserable the next day. Um, a few more small items. I've got a pair of mechanics gloves over there. Because again, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've got a small, um, cheap um, knockoff um, You Dig It trowel. It's a foldable um, stainless steel trowel. Um, you know, for digging scat holes and that type of thing. And uh, I've got a phone charger back there for all my way up. Um, got to be able to have my phone um, if at all possible. I've um, got my keys. I got stuff in my bag. Um, this is all the same stuff that you've seen. Um, I got a fire steel on here, and I've also got a Leatherman Squirt PS4. I um, love that little tool. Um, also, I got a Right in the Rain notebook. Um, and I got a, my two main carry knives, a uh, Victorinox Trekker and a uh, Spyderco Tenacious. I love both those knives. Um, and then also I have my um, Streamlight Micro Stream, which is my everyday carry light. I love that light. So that is my um, carry for three days uh, in Maryland at Scott Gossman's uh, open house uh, for his knife shop. And there is supposed to be um, raffles for a custom knife. There's going to be a trade blanket and um, you know several other things. So we should have a lot of fun and uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff to do. So that is my kit. It's all going to go into a military Alice pack and then I'm going to put uh, my knives and the stuff I'm taking for trade in a separate bag and that's going to go up with me. Um, and that's what I'm going to carry. Um, you know, I've got everything I need there. i got my food, my water, my cook kit. You know, I've got stuff to clean up myself and my, my brew kit with and everything. I've got uh, extra batteries, tools. I've got uh, shelter, plenty of shelter. Um, and everything else I would need. So, I um, hope that I'll make some contacts while I'm up there. Um, and uh, I'm going to try to get some pictures and video if I can. And maybe make a slideshow type video when I get back of the trip. Um, the camera you're seeing through is the camera I'm going to take with me. So, um, but uh, anyway guys, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I will, you know, comment, rate, subscribe. And I will talk to you when you get back, or when I get back. Thanks for watching.